Hey, you're watching AFOX, and today we're going to be taking a look at Frost, who's the second DLC operator. She is the Defender, and she is awesome. So, as you can see, this is what she looks like. She looks pretty beast. I like her. She's nice and stealthy. She's got a nice sort of incognito camo going on, which I think is pretty cool. Here, if you wanted to read, as usual, I'll always show the bio for those of you that want to have a little reading on the characters. I'm not going to read it myself because not everyone's probably interested in that. But there you go, it's here for you to freeze and pause the screen if you want to take a look. But anyway, let's take a look at her loadout. So taking a look at her primary, so we've got the Super 90 shotgun, which is a compact pump action shotgun, which is effective as a breaching tool. I really love this shotgun, it's very powerful. It's much like Buck's shotgun in, in the way that how powerful it is. Um, and then you've got the 9mm C1 submachine gun, which is a classic submachine gun, close to mid-range. Um, which I, I don't really like it, it's got a bit of a weird recoil, but anyway, as you can see, this is the camo that I've got equipped for it, again, I'm rocking the emerald camo, which you have to purchase, unfortunately, but it is very nice. This camo here, I purchased with um, Renown, so everyone can access that if you want to. For her secondary, she's got the handgun, the MK19 mm Again, your standard pistol. I've used it a little bit, to be fair, just because I have this camo on it. The only reason I have been using it is because I want to use the camo. And this camo is actually really expensive, but it's so nice. And then for our secondary, well, our deployable gadgets even, she's got the deployable shield or the nitro cell. I don't like nitro cell. I end up you doing bad things with it, so I always run for the beautiful shield. And I'll explain why this shield is so useful in just a moment when we go on to explain her class. So for the Super 90 we've got the red dot sight, holographic sight and the reflex sight, as usual running the reflex sight, gotta love it. And then the only other attachment you can have is the under barrel laser. Um, I actually have it equipped because it is really useful. If you want to get the laser barrel I, I suggest you do because it is pretty cool. Um, and these are the different camos you can get. I kind of want one of these two, this Zod or the Dissercut or whatever it's called. Um, but yeah, anyway and then on to the submachine gun. So she also has the red dot sight or the reflex sight available, um, again rocking that reflex. <laughs> and then we've got the suppressor as well which I haven't unlocked because I don't like the disadvantage on its damage as you can see, it takes it down. Um, and then we have the laser under barrel, definitely equip this because the recoil is pretty bad on this gun um, so I find this quite inaccurate so this laser does kind of help you out a little bit. So let's move on to see her in action. So she is one of my favourite characters now. Um, I much prefer her over Doc, which is a surprise, but unfortunately it's very difficult for me to use her at the moment now that everyone can use her. Um, but I'm going to quickly first and first talk about the shield, because we are. this is the only time you see it being used. <laughs> so the shield I put down in a really good place that people will jump over, very popular entrance points. Corridors that aren't too wide that the only way they can get over is by jumping. So therefore, the mat can go behind it and someone will jump over and into the mat. Um, of course you have to place them in certain places so that the mat's not visible before they get over the shield, um, otherwise that defeats the point of it. Um, so don't place them on staircases because uh, the mats will be noticed as soon as the person's running up or down the stairs. Um, place them at doorways, very popular places. Cause I don't think I actually mentioned it, but yeah, the bear, the bear traps I'm on about here. The bear traps are her special. Um, and what they do is they clamp someone's feet and instantly down somebody, which is awesome. It's so satisfying to get one of these little kills. It's like, yes, I caught somebody. Yay. <laughs> so, yeah, that is the reason that I like to put them at uh, entrance points and on top of the um, shields. So that they get really easy, obvious kills. I mean, you can leave them in the middle of the map if you want to. But you've got less chance of somebody not seeing it and just accidentally walking into it, you've got more chance of them seeing it in the middle of the floor and shooting it down and it's like, ah, oh, damn. I mean, either way, it is a very good way to know when somebody is coming from a certain angle because if you know exactly where you put all your uh, mats down and you hear someone shooting over there and none of your friends are there, you know that they're shooting your mat down. So you know that they're probably either distracted by your mat or they're, you know, making a slow approach, which is your time to make your quick run. Um, as for weapons, as you can see here, I'm using the shotgun. I prefer the Super 90 to the submachine gun so much more. It's a lot more effective. Look at the range on that. Look how easy that was to down that guy. He didn't stand a chance going through the door um, or window even. Uh, so I do genuinely prefer using the shotgun on um, this class. I'm not going to tell you guys to be that guy that holds back in corners of the room with a shotgun. Um, but... This class does require you to lay back a little bit and let your uh, your traps do the work for you and you do need to hide so you don't get caught. So, 
take that advice as you do. Take that advice as you will. See, look there, that guy got caught by my trap, but I didn't notice, and I was playing with my friends, and they were all shouting shit to me. I was like, what's going on? I don't know, where are they? I'm so scared. I could hear them as well. Um, <laughs> but this guy was like, nope, nope, I'm leaving, and I was like, no, 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 you're not. So I shotgun him up the ass. <laughs> Um, as you can see here, this is just a perfect example of how beast this shotgun really is. Anyway, there isn't really too many tips and tricks I can give you on this character, purely because she just sits back and lets all the gadgets do the work for her. Be aware that people do kill steal a lot with your gadgets. Um, a lot of the time I've had my mats go off and I'm like, yes, runs out to go and grab my kill and finish them off and then someone else shoots them down. Um, so be aware of that. Uh, kind of sit near your trap so, so that you can make sure that you can finish off your own enemies. Um, another tip is, well, a piece of advice, don't go into long sight lines. But that's kind of obvious if you're running with a shotgun. Um, remember the recoil on the um, submachine gun. So again, you might want to be prepared for battles, which your gun's not going to do much for you. Um, and then the last piece of advice I would give you is to make sure you spread out your mats. Don't put them in the center of your home because most of the time your teammates branch out anyway of the zone that you're meant to be securing. So you won't get your mats making their use. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. I'm back soon. Until then, bye.